so many. <laughs> Ooh. So he's switching to his zoo after two disappointments with the uh, Blizzard version of Tempo Mage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that it's like it looks so much like the variant the Blizzard has on yeah. your uh, deck editor. Mm -hmm. Pretty smart on Deadly Kitten's part too, just because um, he's la he is letting the patron be the last deck to play against these two final matchups from uh, Survey's kind of lineup. Which would be the zoo and You take tap this early. One hundred percent take tap this early, right? Of course, of like, course you take tap. Of course you take tap. I'm so your, your, good. Po your, your opponent, your opponent taps too, and you have so many answers for um, zoo kind of boards too. Like the deck itself is built to almost play against zoo. Built to almost play against zoo. Yeah. Yeah. It grab. has all the whirlwind effects, which yeah. are insanely strong. Yeah. Actually, benefits him greatly by doing that too. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see some push damage. I mean, not push damage, but, Wait, but unless guess, you're like, talking about control, some damage to the deadly kitten. <laughs> yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. So this part, ooh. So he's just going face. I, I almost like you know just taking out the imp gang boss this turn because now. Now he's gonna get some value out of that uh, Imp Gang boss. Mm -hmm. uh, might have been like a, a pretty big mistake there. Mm -hmm. Like I think he wanted to draw multiple cards out of his uh, Acolyte Pain. Like he could have waited a turn and gotten more value out of it. Like he didn't have to play the uh, the Ghoul next turn, but he could have set up for killing the Imp Gang boss this turn with just uh, Blood to Icker and Hero Power and just or not Hero Power, but uh, Face and then. Yeah, which he's doing now anyway. Yep, so he's so, doing it now. Yeah, he's gonna do right. full removal now. Yeah, take out. Oh, four board clear. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, see, th this is the power of the patron. Like, I look, like I was looking at the turn before, it's like, okay, so that play actually made it so he drew one last card. But, like, the patron cards, there's just so many whirlwind effects that it could just wipe Zoo's board immediately over and over again. Like, especially, so yeah, especially when you're forcing the Zoo to tap. That's when you know that you're you're quite ahead because each time they tap, it puts their board behind. Yeah, further and further. It's like, oh, there's the battle rage. I wonder if they run battle rage. Said Herman five seconds ago. If I said if if if. And tap. Oh, there's a second battle rage. So that uh, draw potential that he lost earlier, just like he just regained it all back. He's. Okay, I'm gonna draw three this turn and tap, so the fourth card. So five mm -hmm. cards in total for this turn. Seems mm -hmm. good. Seems good. Like, I think you're almost at the point where you could actually just start ignoring the board, too. Ooh. Okay, well, now you actually have the option to trade. I wonder if you just execute here. That, that's also quite interesting. But Battle Rage first is a draw. Alright. I don't see a patron. Oh, yeah. Next and then next turn, you just like, I'm going to wipe your board. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't use the execute here because, like, you have that potential of using it next turn because you have the inner rage, whirlwind, and you will have Ooh, one mana up. Too. I don't know if that changes anything. I'm not sure about playing the pyromancer. I actually like your play a little bit better, just leaving it up to two one ones because you're going to clear them anyways. Well, he plays the pyromancer because he figures, you know, it's like, okay, you have to clear this or I'm going to just win the game immediately. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna see like a trade, the, probably a double trade here, just so he can start fighting back. But then we're gonna see that patron, patron world control. line plus execute on the Doom Guard, and I mean it's really hard for him to lose from this point on, especially yep. since opponent has oh another inner rage too. Wow, sure. that is like not sure, not sure if he wants to play it, but I definitely like to play it just to extend the board a little bit. That that's seven minions on board yeah. if he wants. He's just leading with the execute. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He even had the option of just not even executing it at all. Mm. It's like, okay, so I'm gonna have seven minions on my board. I don't think I care if you kill it or not. Interesting that he's using the Blood to Ikari. Yeah. Alright, so he already knows that he's gonna be behind. And we're gonna go to the next semifinals, which would be BB Gun versus Nostal.